Hey friends, welcome to Life with Everyday Haley, and today we are going to talk about my journey with rheumatoid arthritis and my treatment on Simsia. Here's a backstory about me. So I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis when I was 22. I was a senior in college trying to finish my degree last semester and everything just went crazy. I'm going to post another video for you um, about my rheumatoid arthritis diagnosis and journey. Um, so feel free to watch that video that's coming to um, give you some tips on if you're having symptoms, what my journey was like, is like to this day, and how I deal with being a young woman with rheumatoid arthritis. But the purpose of today's video is to talk about my Simsia injections and how I got there, how I got on this medication, and how it goes. So when I started taking my Simsia, or before I got it, I came to YouTube to watch testimony, testimonial videos from individuals that are on this treatment. Wanted to know how it's taken, wanted to know what to expect, all of the anxieties that come with the new treatment, and I found a lot of these videos very valuable, so I thought I would share my testimony with you. So, I had been on methotrexate for seven years, about seven years, um, from the age of 22 to 29, um, and I um, did really well with methotrexate. That's the preferred treatment, um, but methotrexate is not safe for trying to conceive. So at my phase of life, that is where my husband and I are at in our marriage journey, and I knew that my doctor had been telling me for years, you'd have to change your treatment if you want to conceive. More to come on that journey on that other video I was just telling you about. So he's talked to me for years about treatment options for women wanting to get pregnant. And Simsia was his preferred treatment plan. So it took a while. It took um, about three months for me to finally get approved with my Simsia. My insurance was uh, denying the treatment change. And um, I was one of the unique patients that actually was able to get on Simsia before getting pregnant. Um, uh, through the denial process and appeal process. And so I have been on it for about a month, almost a month and a half. Um, and I am um, about to be able to try to conceive. More to come as well on my journey in that other video. But I was very nervous about taking my Cynthia injection. And I wanna talk with you about this uh, medicine, how I've done on it and how it goes. And some tricks and tips that work best for me when taking my Simsia. It is Simsia. This was my starter kit. It came with um, three double dose kits for my first month of treatment. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through the starter kit and how it went, how I learned to take my Simsia injection and how I'm doing so far. I have um, commercial insurance and so I applied for the Simsia copay program on the Simsia website was advised to do that and it brought my copay down to zero which is fabulous I was really worried before getting on this what the cost was gonna be and each Simsia container it comes in a box like this it has to be refrigerated comes shipped to me from a specialty pharmacy to my front door I simply take it out put it in the fridge and we're good to go and this kit came with a week one, a week two, and a week four kit. And I currently just kept my week four kit. I've already taken this just to show you how the packaging looks. So before we go into the injection of Simsia, let me talk about some tips and tricks that I have developed and uh, have helped me through my um, anxiety of uh, my RE treatment. So methotrexate was um, a very small needle, uh, diabetic type needle, and a very small dose of treatment. This is different. This is a large, thick medication. And so it, not trying to scare you, but it's not, not real pleasant to take this medication. Let me just say that. I did have to learn things that I could do um, to make my injection better. Let me show you some of the things that I do before I take my SMC injection. Um, these injections are taken every two weeks. For the starter kit, it is two um, in two shots in the kit um, for the first month of treatment and then after that it's one 
one of these syringes every two weeks. Um, you can take two um, syringes um, once a month for your treatment. My doctor advised me to do one every two weeks. It has been a little challenging to do two at the same time. So I take my Simgia injection in my thigh, uh, upper thigh area. You can also do your stomach. Now I find my stomach to be like a little bit more fragile, a little bit more um, just not a pleasant place to take an injection. I find my upper thigh to be more um, like tough and like, I don't know, can seems to handle it better. Um, there are some videos included in here um, that tell you, you know, how to take your CT injection. We read the instructions, my husband and I, um, and there's just a lot of help here um, for you um, to go on YouTube or on um, the website provided here to just watch how do I take this, how do I keep it in the fridge, and things like that. So these are some tips and tricks I learned after my first <laughs> attempt at um, my injections, and from there on out, every single time I've taken this, it's gotten better. I bought me some lidocaine cream at Walgreens. I put this on my injection site um, on my thighs um, 10 minutes prior to doing my injection. Doesn't really help with the um, actual pain of the medication going into your body, but it does help with you basically not feeling the needle at all. And this is a pretty small needle, but still. And after I put on my lidocaine cream, my um, Simsia treatment actually comes with these ice packs, refrigerative packs, in the box when it comes to my front door, actually several of these. And so I keep these, I put them in my freezer and use them for my injection. So I'll take two of these, put them on both thighs for the starter kit, and just really let my thighs get cold. Um, and in that way, it really does help with the pain. I've really seen a difference. So let's go into the actual injection now. So once I uh, put on my lidocaine cream and I put on um, my ice packs, I give it 10 minutes. Then I call my husband down and say, hey, I'm ready for my injection. So with this treatment and some videos that I had watched, it was advised to have someone else um, administer the treatment for me and not to have me give it to myself. Now there's people that do give this treatment to themselves. However, I am not one of those people, nor do I feel like I could do that due to the pain that this treatment, um, has when injecting. So, um, you can, um, call the, the Simsia nursing line if you have questions about your injection, or if you do need help injecting that, you can work that out with your insurance. You can talk to your doctor's office as well, or you can have your spouse or a family member or a friend administer it for you. So what we chose to do was have my husband learn how to administer it. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the kit and what it's like to inject this medication. So you open it up and Again, it has its little individual pack here. It also has um, great instructions for you to read about the treatment. So I would always encourage you to do that. Now that we've done this a few times, it's kind of like we've got it, we figured it out, and um, it's really no big deal for us anymore. But at first it was scary. So inside of this is the medication guide. It also comes with two of the pre-filled syringes that you use. Um, for your you take your um, starter kit week one, to, week two, um, and week four. You know, and it has two 200 get rid of your syringes, syringe and I have a so short container. Inside is an image um, of the treatment and what, how you can use it. The informational video is very helpful as well. And this is what the Simsia treatment looks like. Is Simsia now? These are already used. Um, so they're currently not, there's no medicine inside. However, the medicine is clear, um, so it does look like this. So with my starter kit, I was doing two of these, one in the left thigh, one in the right thigh, um, every two weeks. Now, now that I'm on my maintenance dose after the first month, I only have one of these every two weeks. Um, so I'll just alternate my thighs, I'll be good to go. A little bit, it also comes with um, alcohol wipes. Um, where you can wipe your injection site and then you want to inject the treatment. So you always want to use the alcohol wipes. It does come with those in the package, which is very convenient. This was a little bit of a learning curve to know how to inject um, because it's very thick. It, if you try to, you know, squeeze the plunger down, um, it 
takes a while to inject this medicine. I'd say it takes at least 30 seconds to inject this treatment. Um, not confirmed on that, haven't timed it, but it definitely feels like a long time when you're sitting there receiving. So I'm gonna pop this off. This is what the needle looks like. So it's very small, it's like a diabetic needle and it has a plunger on it. So when the medicine, you know, when it comes, it looks like this <laughs> with the plunger on it and then you inject like this. My husband has said that he really has to push pretty hard to get it to, you know, inject. But um, yeah, we figured out a good process. So once you inject it, um, some tips on injecting, um, the video does show you kind of to pinch your skin up and inject and then release your skin and push down. Um, and would recommend that you watch that video. You really just wanna keep, keep it still and just press down um, very slowly, very gently, and um, you want to go as slow as you can. So this treatment, something I didn't share, is um, because it is refrigerated, you want to leave it out for an hour uh, before you inject your treatment. This is going to allow the medication to adjust to room temperature, which is easier for your body to accept, and it's not going to burn as much. This treatment burns a lot. And I was not expecting that when I um, started taking this treatment. Okay. So after it's injected, um, I do bleed a little bit um, and sometimes more than others. The first time I bled a lot because we were kind of learning how to do it. And the bleeding is normal. You know, you're injecting it kind of into your muscle area of your thigh and um, it's normal to bleed. So if you do bleed a little bit, um, don't let that freak you out. Um, the instructions say to take a cotton ball and cover um, the injection site that will stop the bleeding and that does work and it's painless and I cover with band-aids um, so and I keep those band-aids on um, overnight and take them off the next day now sometimes I have slight bruising um, sometimes like in the beginning when I was um, newer we were newer at doing this the bruising was a little bit worse bruising is also very common in these types of injections nothing to worry about unless learned um, my routine I just stay calm um, I have my water bottle ready um, sometimes I'll turn on Spotify um, you know a, a song to just keep me like calm and I will work on my breathing in and out slowly throughout my injection process family and this medication allows me to um, you know, safely get pregnant, safely try to conceive, and safely breastfeed and have a pregnancy, all the good things um, while on this treatment. And so I just choose to think about that positive aspect and just roll with the punches on taking the treatment. So um, that is a little bit about my injection. Um, and then how am I doing with it? So the first time I took it, the double injection, the first month is kind of rough because you're doing two injections uh, instead of one. And um, the first time I took it, I was worried about maybe having like a reaction. I never had, I didn't have a reaction, didn't have an injection site reaction. If you do have an injection site reaction, you can put some Benadryl cream on it. That's what my doctor referred me to. I have never had that. I did feel just very fatigued and tired the next day, a little nauseous in the middle of the night after I took it, because um, I do take it at night. Um, I do take my treatments at night because they say that um, treatments at night um, kind of aren't as bad on your body with sleeping through your side effects. Next day, I was pretty tired, um, substantially wiped out, I will say. Uh, kind of brain foggish, but that only lasted a day or two. I was a little bit low on energy, but after that, I think my body just kind of adjusted and I haven't had any more side effects. And I have had very limited side effects, which is awesome. Another positive aspect is, you know, we were worried about coming off my methotrexate that I've been on for so long. What would happen with your RA, like with your disease? And I am excited to report that I've been on Simsia for a month, about a month and a half now, and I've been fine. That about like what's going to happen. I took that risk because I want to have a family. Um, but everything's been wonderful and I give the glory to God for that. Um, I'm just hanging in there along for the journey. At this portion of my life, I'm really aware of my health and um, where this is leading me. Um, so I will be on Simsia for, um, I got it approved for a year. I'm hoping that 
um, with my insurance. I'm hoping that next year it'll get approved again because I'm hoping to be pregnant by next year, um, good Lord willing. And um, I'll probably be on it until I am done with my breastfeeding. Now with Simsia, um, you can develop antibodies to the treatment. So there is a risk that you know, it may not work as long as I need it to work. So my doctor has encouraged me to try to conceive as soon as I can um, once I'm in that window after methotrexate. So I share that with you all to say if you are watching this video and you are a young woman transitioning to Simsia because she's trying to conceive, um, this is uh, something that's advised. Now, when you become pregnant as a woman with RA, and more to come in an additional video about this, but I wanted to share that typically your body will go into remission. Now, not everybody does this though, and some women have serious struggles through pregnancy. Some women actually, their RA comes out, their disease comes out uh, in their postpartum. So um, pregnancy is a very traumatic, big change on a human, on a female's body. And a lot of things can come from that. So um, I chose um, instead of just not being on any treatment and just trying to get pregnant, I chose to try Simsia. Yeah. So thank you for watching this video about my journey, uh, a little bit of trying to conceive where I came from, um, from being a woman with RA and my Simsia injection and how I make that happen. If you like um, my story, please tag along for my journey on my channel to learn more about um, me and my health journey, my trying to conceive journey, and other good things under the sun. Um, thank you for watching and have a great day.